Another day of badass builds without the BS. This time, X99 flavored. Welcome to Tekka Demar, where the shit gets spicy. So what's up? You guys like that intro? Give a thumbs up. And if you like X99, give a double thumbs up because today's video is all about the X99 platform featuring Intel's latest Core i7-5960X Extreme Edition processor. And you guys all know DDR4 comes to the table with this. Now, before we jump into the video though, I want to give a special shout out to the people over at Squarespace for making today's video possible for you folks to check out. So you guys are going, hey, what's Squarespace? Well, you guys are going to dig in. If you guys want to save money and get a free trial period, all you guys got to do is enter TOT at the checkout, which gives you a free trial and 10% off if you subscribe. With that said, let's jump in and check out this system. Real quickly, in case some of you folks out there just happen to miss it, this is Intel's very first desktop eight core CPU that's not Xeon. Really big news for these folks. Now, the one we're using is an eight core CPU has 16 virtual, so you have 16 threads running at once, which makes this thing absolutely incredible in doing rendering and crunching and all that stuff. Comes in at 3.0 gigahertz, 3.5 gigahertz on its boost, 20 megabytes of smart cache. This thing's really geared for a hardcore stuff. Now, the chipset, is the 2011 V3. Now, a lot of people out there are gonna ask this question. I saw the comments in the previous video saying, hey, will my old CPU work with this and will this work with DDR3? Absolutely not. This chipset supports DDR4, the CPUs support DDR4, and the old CPUs will not transmigrate over to it. But with that said, you guys can see back here, the system's here. I've got the motherboard up here behind me, very much thanks to people over at Gigabyte. This is their X99 Gaming G1 Wi-Fi motherboard. And this thing's pretty decked out. We've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 from the people over at Corsair. On the outside, ooh, something nice from Corsair, the 750D. I also have the H105, also from Corsair. That's an all-in-one water cooler that's inside this bad boy. It's keeping this thing running absolutely cool. In fact, this thing runs so damn quiet that it's running actually behind me right now and you can probably hear the air conditioner over it. And it never reached a temperature over 42 Celsius ever, even during its most intense testing. So this thing's running cool and absolutely quiet. The CPU itself actually has a TDP of 140 and this is actually a little bit higher than the previous generation X79. Next up, we have the video cards. Now you guys can see that we're using two EVGA GTX 780 Ti's in SLI mode. Now now the Core i7-5960X Extreme Edition that we're using features up to 40 lanes of PCI Express, and four of those lanes can be totally dedicated to video. So we're only using two cards in SLI, but we could use up to four without losing any performance issues and getting no bottlenecks whatsoever. But gaming isn't something that we're going to oversaturate with this video because the difference between X79 and X99 were very small indeed. So with that said, let's just keep moving on talking about the parts. For the power supply, we have a brand new one from the people over at Cooler Mass. So this is their brand new V850. It's got plenty of juice and is powering this thing just perfectly. Another thing to take note of, the rear IO on the Gigabyte motherboard is really cool. Check out how it totally lights up in like this cool, weird, like neon purple color. I think that's really awesome. And one thing also cool about it is a lot of times when you're trying to plug that stuff in behind your desk, you know you can't see. You're just like, what the heck? How do I plug this in? Urgh. It totally eliminates that frustration because everything is laid out and lit up so you can see it. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, dummy proof. And boom, plug it right in. It's a very good feature from the people over at Gigabyte. And I have to say, hey, they're gonna probably get a lot of fans out there who are giving that a thumbs up. As far as storage and boot drive goes, I use the Intel 520 series 240 gigabyte as our main boot drive and a pyro 240 gigabyte drive from the people over at Patriot as my main storage drive. And last but not least, a couple of small details. We did use a DVD obviously to install the Windows 8.1. Now, I really absolutely hate Windows 8.0. As far as I'm concerned, it can seriously like burn in hell and disappear, but Windows 8.1 changed my mind. 
Once I installed that update, had my normal desktop, it was cool to be able to switch between what I wanted to look out without being forced into this damn panel thing. I didn't like that whatsoever. Now it's a lot better to use and I'm happy with Windows 8.1. We ran both of our test systems in comparison. And so with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the test scores. You're back, just rocking out once again to the new Benchmark song. Now, a lot of you guys out there always ask, hey, how did you guys make your music website? That's www.techoftomorrowmusic.com. And we did that all with Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is really kind of unique. They have this totally unique drag and drop interface so that when you go and you try to design your website, you can do it very quickly because everything's really intuitive. A really cool thing about Squarespace as well is they have 24 seven technical support. That's right, these guys are based out of New York, the Big Apple, and no matter what time, day or night that you need them, they are there for you. And it's also never been easier to set up your own online store. You guys can get a free trial by entering TOT at the checkout and also if you guys decide to join, you get an additional 10%. Let's touch real quickly about the performance of this machine. Now, obviously in gaming between the X79 and the X99 and just using a couple of cards, there's not much difference. In fact, the X79 and X99 platform in general are only for gaming if you're gonna be using a bunch of video cards, meaning like four, because all of those PCI lanes being available is gonna help you out a lot. Other than that, if you've got an older 4790 or 4770K, your gaming machine is going to be just fine. Now, Transferring a 4K video in Premiere saved a minute. Now, over a time, a minute really adds up a lot. And when it comes to number crunching, obviously you can see that there's a big performance difference between the previous generation and this generation. The one we tested before was the 4960X. This is the new 5960X. One little number difference, but you can see that the performance is actually pretty good. It's not mind boggling, but for Intel, it's pretty damn good. Now, if I was somebody out there and I owned an X79 platform, I wouldn't be running out and going trying to pawn it and buy this one. But if you're just coming into the market, I would definitely choose the X99 over the X79 any day of the week because those little performance boosts over time add up. Just think about it. A minute, you do the videos, that could be in hours, which adds up to being days. So over the year and over time, you're gonna be saving a bunch of time, which equates to money in the long run. So that's it, folks. This wraps up today's video. Like usual, all of the information for this system will be down there below the like button, which hope you'll hit and you like this video. And also, if you guys happen to miss anything and still have more questions about the CPU and the chipset and all that stuff, make sure you guys check out our previous video that we did explaining all of that stuff for you, the good fans. So hey, thanks for watching. If you guys aren't subbed and you like what you see, then hey, sub to the channel. You guys will see me in your inbox. I'm Elric here at Tech of Tomorrow, and uh, I'm off to have some fun.